Well, hello. My name is Don Tipping. I'm here at Seven Seeds Farm, which is where we run Siskiyou Seeds, where we grow um, about 700 different open pollinated organic fruits, vegetables, and herbs for seed to distribute all over the world. And today I wanted to share how I start tomatoes and peppers and eggplants. I'm in my greenhouse. It's late March in Oregon. We started on these heat mats here, uh, which are you can get at most garden centers and they just boost up the temperature. So because our heat mat space is limited, I like to, uh, instead of starting my tomatoes in pots, I started in these, these little furrows here, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. The equipment I'm using here is, we call this a 10 by 20, because it's 10 inches by 20 inches, and then inside of here, I put it, one that doesn't have all these holes, so it can hold soil. And so you can see, that's what I've got here. This is uh, filled with potting soil that we made on the farm out of compost. There'll be a link to another video of how to make potting soil in the comments. But pretty much it's compost, sand, a little bit of eggshells, and kelp, or you could obviously buy potting soil. And why you want to start these um, heat-loving crops on a heat mat is because they germinate quite poorly in cool temperatures. And right now it's probably about 50 degrees outside and these seeds want about 70 to 80 degrees. So with an electric heat mat, I can ensure those temperatures. So I am going to demonstrate one right now of how I do this. And um, we save pretty much all our own tomato seed. I, I get these coin envelopes uh, for that. And you can get these at a office supply store. I wanted to share a few little details of how I label it. Tomatoes, chestnut, chocolate, 18. I always write the year of the seed to know how old it is because that helps you with your seed saving. So I open the packet. I put a little bit of crease, uh, crease in there. So as I tap it, it helps the seeds to line up and give me more precision how I can tap them into this little furrow I've made. I'm planting about 40 or 50 seeds in there. Um, you get about an ounce of seed per tomato plant. You know, I'm growing for seed, but if you're just growing for your garden, you're not necessarily concerned with that. I'm gonna just tamp those in a little bit. And then I take some loose soil and cover up my little furrow. I'm aiming to get them about a quarter inch deep. I found it's not actually super crucial. Half inch to quarter inch works. And then on a popsicle stick, I am going to write chestnut chocolate for the variety name. I know it's a tomato, and at this point in my gardening life, I can identify them. And I write the date on there, March 27th. So if I'm feeling a little impatient about the seeds coming up, I know when I planted them, and I can tell if there's a problem or not. So I'm gonna show you in this tray here, I planted Yankee Bell peppers. So this is a little bit farther along. This was March 7th, so 20 days ago, I seeded these in here on a heat mat. And you can see some coming up here, and they, you know, obviously they were planted quite close together. You wouldn't want to let them grow in these open flats very long. It's more just something you use to get them sprouted with heat. So then I'm going to separate them out. I have one little plant here. And then this is the size I like to use for peppers. You can see I'm filling up this little pot, snug it in there. I'll do another one just so in case you missed anything. It's pretty simple. I generally hold the seedlings by the leaves instead of the stem because the plant can regrow leaves. It can't regrow its stem in case you were a little bit rough with it. Tuck it in there and that's it. These will grow up to be really nice uh, starts in these, and we'll plant them out probably around June 1st. Tomatoes, I use something about twice as big, like something like this would work well. Uh, we also have some that are a little deeper because tomatoes are just more vigorous growing. So you can see with this method, I can really concentrate growing a lot of starts in a small amount of space and um, you know, make the best use out of my heat mats. So I hope this was helpful and you learned something that you're able to put into action and improve your success at starting tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers from seed. You can use the same technique for all of them. And I'll put a link again in the um, comments of 
our website for accessing seed, and we have a, a free ebook on growing a, a 100 square foot garden and all that you need to know, and the link to that will be in the comments as well. So I wish you all the best in your growing efforts, and may we grow a world of good. Peace. Thank you.